Rejection, A Rejected Mate Academy Romance, The Mate Games, Book 2, by Kay Lorraine continues the story set in a world where werewolves and supernatural entities exist. The novel centers around the dynamic between two main characters, a female werewolf and a male from a werewolf faction known as the Pax. In this world, the Pack hierarchies are rigid, and the selection of a mate is paramount to an individual's standing within a pack and the strength of the pack itself. In the narrative, we meet our female protagonist, who is a young, determined woman with her own mind and strong will. She has faced rejection before, which is considered a stigma in the werewolf community. Her previous mate, who was supposed to be her perfect match, had rejected her, leaving her ostracized and adrift within pack society. This event has left her with deep emotional scars, but it has also galvanized her to prove her worth and find a place where she belongs. Alternatively, the male lead is a dominant figure within his pack, powerful, respected, and feared. He's characterized by his strong sense of duty and his commitment to the well-being and strength of his pack. When he discovers his mate, a bond forms that is meant to be unbreakable and sacred. However, due to political maneuvering and pressure within the pack, he finds himself rejecting his intended mate, causing a rift between them. As the two characters navigate the rejection they have experienced, they find themselves enrolled in the Mate Games Academy, an institution designed to support and train werewolves in the art of combat, diplomacy, and most importantly, mate bonding. It's a place where rejected mates like themselves can learn to hone their abilities, gain strength, and possibly find new compatible partners. Within the confines of the Academy, the female protagonist strives to overcome the stigma of rejection and prove her strength and value. She is determined not to let the past dictate her future, throwing herself into the rigorous training and the complex social structure of the Academy. Here, battles of strength aren't just physical, but also psychological, and alliances can be as precious as the strength they render. Our male lead, on the other hand, struggles with the consequences of his actions. Guilt and duty war within him as he confronts the feelings he still harbors for the mate he rejected. His rejection causes a twinge of regret and a recognition of the loss of a connection that could have been extraordinarily powerful. As the plot unfolds, the tension between the two protagonists heightens. They are forced to work together in a series of challenges and competitions, and through these, they start to rediscover one another. They face external threats, including political plots, physical tests, and the shadows of external enemies who would see both them and their respective packs weakened or destroyed. Despite their initial animosity and the barriers that their rejection has formed between them, a new type of relationship begins to take shape. This is not just born of physical attraction or the bond that originally pulled them together, but also a deeper understanding and respect that emerges from seeing each other's true qualities. They both realize that rejection does not have to define them and that they may be stronger together than apart. However, the path to acceptance and reconciliation is not an easy one. It is disrupted by rivalries within the academy, the potential of other mates, and the judgments of the pack society that looks down upon rejected mates. Furthermore, there's the underlying threat that if they pursue a connection against the norms and expectations of their world, they might face greater rejection and endanger themselves and their packs. As allies and enemies maneuver around them within the academy, the protagonists learn to trust one another and confront their past and the feelings they've tried to bury. They awaken to the power of their combined forces, both in terms of physical prowess and the depth of the bond that could form between them. They challenge the idea of what it means to be mates and question the rules that have dictated their lives thus far. Their journey is not just about their individual growth, but also about how they might change the very fabric of werewolf society with their choices. They assert that rejection does not mean worthlessness and that true strength can be found outside the expected norms. The climax of the book brings all these threads to a head. The protagonists must face the ultimate test of their bond and their place within the world they're a part of. It's not just about winning the games, but about how they redefine the concept of mates and partnerships. Rejection, a rejected mate academy romance, explores themes of love, 
resilience, and the power of breaking from tradition. The protagonists learn that rejection can be the beginning rather than the end, and that through understanding and strength of character, they can surpass the limits placed on them by others. The novel ends with a note of hope and the suggestion that their journey has not only changed them, but might be the impetus for change in the wider werewolf world. The book strikes a chord with the idea that rejection, though painful, is not a permanent state, and that with courage and determination, it can lead to a future that defies expectation. The protagonist's story tells us that sometimes it is not about the bond that was lost, but the one that is forged anew in the aftermath of rejection. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.